can't go to Hollywood. What about what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> There's several episodes. <laughs> I watched them all. <laughs> the one where you had Bobby on? <laughs> I remember him. <laughs> He what came I, over for supper once. Yeah. He was a nice boy. <laughs> what? You can't go to Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> What's Bobby gonna do? <laughs> He's fucking losing it. <laughs> so concerned about Bobby. <laughs> oh my god. Well, mom, mom, Bobby's gonna move to Hollywood too. Bobby? <laughs> and Hollywood? He'll never make yeah, it. Yeah, he's got 25 minutes tops. I even started recording. That's a technical <laughs> fail. <laughs> That's exactly who that voice is. <laughs> yeah, it know. is. It's Whitey from Eight Crazy Nights. Wait, you aren't even recording? I got the beginning of that. What song are you going to do? Do it. Do it. Do oh, the song. Um, are we going to start? Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Cody. Max. Zach. And you're listening to the Talk It Off Podcast. I, I did it. You did I it. did the intro. That was good. I was so good I wanted to join in. I know, without fucking it up for the first time. It took time. me a second to figure out what you were doing, too. No way. Yeah. That's going to be in the comments. Mm-hmm. So it's like, which song is it? Yeah, they're going to know immediately. They're they will. Go, yeah. It's that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually. I don't want to give it away. Hey, I don't want to either. I'm actually a fake fan. Not only did I not know that, um, but recently I posted a TikTok uh, with the lyrics to our song Wolf in Sheep's Clothing I messed up the lyrics Wait you yeah. did? Oh and they let me know Yo. Oh wait you know what They told me recently When I was streaming mm-hmm. But I, I don't know what I honestly I, Full disclosure I watched it I had no idea what you missed I, yeah. think, I think we need to normalize Bands not knowing their own songs Yeah really I think honestly. it's important Like if you, if you write a book can you recite it word for yes, word? Exactly. No, because yes. it's too many words. Mm-hmm. I will. Was... I will say, Devil's Advocate. It is our like one of our biggest songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like some throwaway track in the background. <laughs> it was. It was the line. Now let's not get overzealous here. Yeah. I Did you just not? That. You just didn't throw it. In? I just. Yeah. I forgot. It'd be funny if you just tried to make up another word. Yeah. Let's not get over jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's not get over jaburious here. Great word. Never get over Jabarius. Yo, that TikTok blew up. I'm, I am TikTok is that your, famous. Is that your biggest one now? It is yeah. my biggest one. You, and, um, you fucking please daddy algorithm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I will be, I'm going to be contacting Bella Porch <laughs> and Addison Ray and yeah. Charlie and the whole gang. I'm, I'm going to be part of a, a house, one of those TikTok houses. Yeah, the hype houses. Is yeah, that I, what they yes. are? Yeah, I couldn't do it, man. If I had to constantly be walking around while people were filming stuff, like, no. I would just... I know. I'm like I'm, I'm trying to eat breakfast. I'd be like, <laughs> I would like to take a nap. Yeah. Every every morning I wake up and grab a Red Bull, so I couldn't even imagine like trying to go to the kitchen to grab a Red Bull while someone's get like, out of the video. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, first time they did You're that, the I'm, shot. Like, I'm gonna move out. <laughs> I don't care how many followers you have. You're yelling at me like you've done a pound of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be like, okay, I'm out. Oh my god! I you know that's happened. You oh. know that's happened. They were shooting something, and like they were getting what they thought was their best take, and mm. someone just walked by, and they flipped. Yeah, and what is their best take? It's like the the renegade thing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have, there is a uh, and it, it happens in public. It's the same thing when you're taking like a selfie of yourself, but posting a TikTok is totally fine. You're expected to do so, and it's fine. Yeah, getting caught filming a TikTok is the most embarrassing shit on earth which oh. is so weird because like uh, why i don't but, know uh, but it is but why because like uh, it's so normal that person well, that's ca- that caught you making the tiktok has probably one made tiktoks and two definitely watches them yeah there, there's a couple reasons have you ever like been setting up for like a selfie and you're trying to do like your face yeah, yeah, yeah. and then your friend sees you do it and they're like what you doing over there <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the like worst. oh no i hate this yeah, but yeah. also the, there's like accounts dedicated to catching people filming stuff it's like, I think it's called Influencers in the Wild. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So like, there's like a part of me that's like, I want to be more active on it, but if I get caught, I'm going to be shamed. The thing I've, I've realized is uh, the, the more you do it, the easier it gets. The more you're like, I don't care. So the, but the very first one, I'm sure you've experienced this too. The first time I tried to film a TikTok, it was by myself and I had the feeling that someone was watching. But like, no, that's not right. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I couldn't <laughs> get into it. To no one. To yourself. Yeah. It's just me. Like, <laughs> uh, so um, the Dude, more you I'm do in it, that the more you're like, I don't care. I'm yeah. in that 
phase of TikTok where I haven't really dug in yet because I'm, the same thing happened to me when I started Twitch. I was just intimidated. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know where to begin. I don't know how to start. I know if I just sat down and did it, I'd be okay. Yeah, yeah. But like, I am like afraid of it for some reason. And then, but I know like I've posted like a pre-made video, like mm-hmm. Shay and I made like a skit. And then I did one where it was just like two in the morning and Shay and I were doing like a ridiculous bit and we're like, fuck it, we'll throw it up there. Uh, but I've never like been holding the phone, recording a, a reaction or a duet or a stitch or anything like that. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, I'm afraid to do it. What bl- oh, blows my mind is that like you can sing. I, I know I'm missing out on an opportunity. No, no. It's to, like, gold. I can sing along with people. I can do duets and stuff. Yeah, I really need to just start. I need to shut up and do it. I really yeah. do. Let's do it right now. Yeah. Right now. Film a TikTok. Oh right my now. god. Film a TikTok on the podcast. Yo, yeah? let's do it. I'm gonna film one right He's now. Film a TikTok. Oh, yeah. That's All such right. a good make idea. A, make up a song on the spot and then sing it. <laughs> About hey the podcast. everybody, we're on the podcast. You better listen to it, or we'll kick your ass. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Damn. Did it record? I think it did. That's, if it didn't record. Hey everybody, we're on the podcast. You better listen to it or we'll kick your ass. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey That's actually pretty good. It seems like something they chant hey at football everybody. games. I swear I'm nice. What should I talk? What should I caption it? Whatever you want. Just All say right, hey. No rules. The exact words that are in. <laughs> <laughs> like what I just said. In yeah. It? <laughs> what did you? I don't even remember. Hey everybody, we're on the podcast. You better listen to it or we'll kick your ass. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. And then do hashtag FYP. I don't know if it works. Some yeah, people I say. I, I some, heard it like makes you not I know. show up. It's the whole algorithm thing again. It's like it doesn't matter or it does matter yeah. or it's or you have to press uh, other cancel and like what's going on? Yeah. Everything is a test for daddy I, algorithm. I know. You just, I know. Sometimes I like uh, my girlfriend, uh, you know, it gets into the, like, the whole algorithm and like right. trying to figure it out. And she has friends that, do, does, do, you know, do it, too. And they're trying to like tell her like tidbits on how to do better at it. And some of it sounds like, like witchcraft. It's yeah. literally like, it's like, okay, once you post it, go live immediately, but then only go live for four minutes and then turn your phone off mm-hmm. and then put your phone in the microwave. And then, and then when you comes out, when it comes out of the microwave, turn your phone back on and, but don't open TikTok. open Instagram because TikTok will know. And then they'll get up. It's like, dude, no, and then you do all of that. And it pans to, to, to out al- like father algorithm. And he's on a throne and he goes, <laughs> 200 likes <laughs> and that's it yeah. like it just decides yeah, man yeah. it's just random so yeah but i think the biggest thing and i think that this, that this is something i've realized i don't know if it's the right thing to do but the the best thing that's ever happened to me with social media is to stop caring like you don't need to like schedule out your instagram post you don't need to do a whole photo shoot unless you want to yeah. post a, a whatever thing you took that day and it'll be fine. Everything's fine. And it's truth. posted. Nice. nice. How much do you want to bet the first few comments are, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> by oh. the way, by the way, th- and this I think should go for any post that any of us do in the future. We're fine. <laughs> Stop asking. We're just fine. We like to have fun here. Yeah. <laughs> Not a big deal. Uh, I did it. A, you did uh, it. I overcame the fear. You just, you just posted it. It feels good. Yeah. I can't believe it. I'm afraid. I hope it goes well. Oh, <laughs> you yeah, you want to please the, please the algorithm. You got to please did daddy algorithm. Did you do algorithm. FYP? I did FYP. Ooh. I did, um, I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh, mm. after FYP or yeah, before? No, before. Because uh, I, I said, I will kick your ass. I'm kidding. Oh, nice. And nice. then I think I did. Well, now, um, the, now they don't think you're going to kick yeah. their ass. And yeah, now oh, they're no. not afraid. Now they're There's, not going to listen. Hey, are we going to uh, Are we going to address that we're all wearing this? Oh, they're not talking about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Video on TikTok too. Yeah, for anyone who's uh, not watching this on YouTube, we got some new merch. Uh, it's going to be available June fourth at setitoffband.com to Listen celebrate. To, don't look at it. Listen to yeah. the merch. All at the same time. This is quality podcasting. Oh yeah, it's quality cloth um, too. Yeah, so to celebrate uh, Midnight, the final chapter coming out on June fourth, we are doing a merch drop, and we've got these cool like track suit style yeah. things that are going to be they're available. They're so comfy. Yeah, also, uh, our band's not breaking up. It's called <laughs> <laughs> the final chapter of, of Midnight, right? So yeah. we're it's, not breaking up, we're, right? We we're going to add an actual like ending to it. It's going to be called Midnight, the final chapter in parentheses. We promise we're not breaking yeah. up. <laughs> I think we should lean into it and we should put out a single that's like, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> This is gonna be it. If, if you, uh, if I can cut that out too, if you don't want to bring that part up, what the 
after midnight saying that we're going to break up because I don't know if you're being serious that you want it to be like that, we're, we, that we should break that up we should break up no, no, no I mean maybe no, no, no keep all of this we in could. it's great no they, not they, break now up. they'll never know not break up I mean uh, I mean the uh, whatever <laughs> <Give me> a, <laughs> where are you going keeping it I, I thought you meant like keeping it a secret that we uh, are going to break up like you liked that it was oh, hinting like to keep towards the bit that. going yeah to get the, oh, they'll have to yeah. decide no, okay. it's fine. So we're keeping oh, all that in. Huh? All of it's in. Yeah, they'll never know. Oh. Is it the final chapter because it's the end of an era? Or is this the end of Set It Off as we know it? Oh. Boom, boom, boom. It's the end of, of the, the world, world as we know it. it. Oh, we'll get YMCA'd. Oh. <laughs> you got to be careful. Y- wait, the YMCA? Yeah, yeah so come. if you play a song that you're not supposed to, all of the village people will come to your house <laughs> and kick your ass. Yeah. You have to avoid the YMCA. Yeah. A or- fireman, a cop, they're all going to come here. Yeah. They will beat the shit out of you. Yeah, they That's don't very like funny. it. They yeah. don't Speaking like of it. the YMCA, I've started going to the gym recently. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, really. I've been uh, I've been doing it for like a like a week now. Awesome. How's I've it like going? turned my whole life around. On the podcast, um, we've talked many times about how I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I wake up at six in the morning. Yeah. I mean, I go to bed at six in the morning, wake up at like two in the afternoon. Yeah. I've switched it all completely. You switched waking, it up. I'm waking up at 9 a.m. every single day for like a week straight. And I go to the gym every single morning before That's I do what's anything up. else. So I've been doing that. And I, and I wanted to kind of like document it on the podcast and be like, oh, I wonder where I'll be in the next episode of the podcast. But I got to say working out. And I was waiting for you to be like, I'm right back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> working out in Los Angeles. So weird, dude. What kind of gym are you going to? Uh, I'm. I don't want to say the gym's name, but it's one. The that's, address. Give it the address. <laughs> yeah, tell us the exact one. It's literally on Hollywood Boulevard, and uh, so I, I. I think working out in LA would probably be normal. I mean, like, be a normal experience. But since I'm in like, ho- like straight up Hollywood land, yeah. Like when I go in, I feel like. I'm exercising and I look to my right and there's like a 2005 goth from like Hot Topic with like the snake bites and like wh- like straight up in costume. I'm like, yeah. oh, like Jesus Christ. <laughs> never, he's like his makeup for running. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I look to my left and there's like a guy in a Spider-Man onesie on the- <laughs> Like this is, is it? Are it the people like getting a pre workout in before they go take the Hollywood streets and do their thing where they take photos of you for five dollars? I, I guess, man. I don't know. All I know is I'm like, this has got to be one of Dude, the weirdest. That was my experience was so different in the gym I went to out here. Mine was like I felt so to be totally just vulnerable and real with you right now inferior because every person I saw was like at twenty out of ten. Like you should get out of here. You're fine. You hit your goal. Go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also it's the people like a lot of people that I would see would just crave attention like you always get the guy that wants you to know i'm the one lifting the most in this room mm. so he goes to lift it and he, you know he's there when you hear ah! Ah! Dude. Ah! like There's- he's just fucking <laughs> exploding noises out of his mouth oh god and i bet you somehow he thinks that's gonna get him a movie like, uh- <laughs> <laughs> somehow he thinks that's gonna get him All a right, movie. big hollywood director here i see that you lift a lot of weight yeah. we need someone like that in this film <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't know when I when I got here. I guess like everyone else that moved here, just like they gave them a six pack when they moved in. <laughs> yeah. But like I never got it, so yeah, it's yeah. crazy. They're all in shape. Should have come with a contract. It's I think you guys, up. you guys need to go to my gym. It's like <laughs> that, that sounds fun to it's me. It's pretty wild over there, man. <laughs> They're doing, they're doing whatever. Dude, that's awesome for you, man, to be able to like switch it up like that. I feel like my workout routine went from intense to just the most, I regressed it. Yeah. I found out VR workouts were an option, and I don't know if I'm ever going to look back. <laughs> it's, so, so my biggest thing is that working out is fucking boring. So like, <laughs> I, if I'm at the gym for more than 10 minutes, I, my brain is like, you have to go home. Yeah. I, would, I would rather do anything else. Yeah. So the VR workout, it turns it into a game where you then forget that you're working out, and that's the key. So we, uh, you, I think you're the one that showed me this game called Thrill of the Fight. Yeah. And it is a boxing simulator. And you want to keep going because you want to knock out this person <laughs> so bad. Yeah. I don't know what they did to me. I don't know who hurt me. <laughs> but I'm taking revenge on these fake people. And uh, Dude, I'm, like, sweating. You get I'm, so yeah. into it. And then it, some of them are harder to bring down than the others. And then you just keep swinging and swinging and swinging. And my heart my heart rate was just spiking. I burned, like, 300 cal- calories playing yeah. this game i was like this is the best i'm playing video games yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. i'm going to the gym because I'm, <laughs> I'm an adult i'm an adult i don't play video games <laughs> no i i would do something like that but i don't know i just feel like uh 
kid, I have to when I go on like a, like the treadmill, I have to make like a game out of it. Like yeah. a, okay, I do like timed intervals of running and jogging, so I have to like pay attention to it. You doing like interval training, uh, like like running to walking, running to walking. Uh, that works. Yeah, well, uh, light light jog to full running. Oh damn, to light jog that's to not easy. Running. Yeah, I tried. I'm trying to. It's a whole thing, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's uh, it's been very helpful, and I'm excited to see because on the next podcast it's gonna be two weeks from now. Mm-hmm. So to see two weeks from now if I'm still doing it or what the progress Let's see. is now. Now this is gonna hold you accountable. Actually, yeah. I know you come back looking like In handsome co- Squidward. Yeah, <laughs> in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's all it takes. The you're blue like, skin. You're and like all. somehow taller. You're like. Yeah. Towering over the table with the blue skin. Yeah, it's like, just we like we like CGI Dave Batista there. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, he's in a new movie. He is Army of the Dead. Did you guys watch it yet? No, no I, I want to. It. You want to go see it? Uh, no, I, I, it's on uh, Netflix, isn't it? Yeah, let's go now. I, we can just turn it on. Like, yeah, there we go. Oh, All right, I bye thought, everybody. I thought it was on HBO Max. Or no, uh, I, I'm not. Positive, maybe not. Maybe not. But I watched the first ten minutes of it because my friend said that it, they managed to do a full movie in the first ten minutes, and he's not wrong. It wow. was out of control. The funniest thing, though, is kudos for being able to do everything. But the beginning credits, it's like written by Zack Snyder. Screenplay by Zack Snyder. Executive producer, Zack Snyder. Like, what if you just put your name once? Yeah. And then all the things you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like When I saw that he was doing Justice League and they were like, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, man. It's like if you were like. Uh, Cody Carson's Killer in the Mirror. Like you had to put his name yeah. before every single thing. Yeah. It's like, dude, just let it. It's like, look, I'm doing yeah, things. Let, man. It, let it be its own thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You know, I, I didn't realize. I didn't realize that I was already familiar with Zack Snyder with, without. I haven't seen the Snyder cut yet or anything. But mm-hmm. I loved 300, and apparently that's him. Oh yeah, oh. Yeah. yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah. This is this, for Sparta. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> this is Sparta. This is for Sparta. Sparta. Yeah, he's like. Sounds just like yeah. him, man. He's like delivering a package. <laughs> this is for Sparta. Thanks. And yeah. then pushes him down yeah. into a well. Door, it's like the <laughs> most enthusiastic DoorDash guy ever. <laughs> for <laughs> Sparta. Oh, the pizza's here. Yeah, I know. I would never be that guy. I'd be like, for Sparta. <laughs> For fucking Sparta. Sparta is Sparta here. Yeah. Throw it at the at the door as <laughs> yeah. hard as you can. Knock one, it's like <laughs> <laughs> run away. I am excited to see that though. It looks really good. It's been a while since I've seen a good zombie movie. I already can't wait for the fall season to come. It's not even summer yet. I just want to watch a, I want a re, an excuse to watch a bunch of horror movies. It's gonna yeah. be amazing. They uh there's this thing that I've been meaning to do uh in Los Angeles, there's uh, the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I've heard about that. Yeah, they play movies there. I'm down. I want to go see an ooh, spooky movie. Yeah, in a cemetery. That'd be dope. That sounds dope. I would be totally into that. A lot of famous people are buried there, too, I think. So you can do like a little tour beforehand. Yeah, they got like mausoleums to like big ass celebrities and stuff. I've never been inside, but I've driven past it like two billion times. Obviously, not two billion times. (laughs) Can't wait for that comment. I know. That's impossible. Yeah, I just it takes six point four seconds to cross them. Yo, Someone do the math. <laughs> Someone do the math How in the long? comments. Yeah, speaking of spooky movies, the new Conjuring approaches. <gasps> oh yes. What's it called uh-huh. again? I, the Devil the, Made Me yeah, Do the It. The Devil Made Me Do It. It looks so good. And also, like, uh, I know that we're we're all a big fan of the Conjuring. We're series. protective of it. Yeah, yeah like, but, genuinely protective. Yeah, because there's you know the Conjuring One and Conjuring Two, and then there's all the Annabelle movies, mm-hmm. and then. Oh, what? There's another thing in that. What, uh, there was the nun, which we the were nun, yeah, which not happy about. A trash movie. <laughs> One of the worst movies I've ever seen. I always trash. just think about <laughs> the thing that we remember the most about watching the nun is when we were in the theater. It was just us. We yeah, were yeah. on an off day. Max is already losing it. Yeah. We were on an off day, and our videographer, I won't say which one because I don't want to put them on blast, but uh, we were all sitting, and during one silent moment, we just heard the loudest fart. Yeah. It was the best part of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the uh, best part. Dude, we laughed so hard. <laughs> oh, have we talked about the, the fart that ruined your night, though? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about... It's such about- a lead up to a story. Okay, so uh, this this is a saga for me. That's the title, The Fart That Ruined Max's Night. <laughs> no, we can't so, keep doing fart yeah. Is it always fart related? Yeah, we're still oh, doing fart. But I, okay, so... Highbrow. So to, re- to rewind a little bit, the uh, the original Spider-Man films with Tobey Maguire, right? Yeah. There's a very famous scene in which he stops a train, takes yes. everything in yeah. there. It is, it is one of the greatest scenes in like comic book cinematic history the very first time i went to go see that in theaters 
After that moment, there's a brief pause where he's holding it there. He's holding it there, and a man in front of me did the worst little John, yeah, uh, I have ever heard in my entire life, and ruined the moment. Ruined yeah. the moment for did me. Did people cheer though? No one cheered. Uh, it was just people groaning because that guy decided to ruin Dude, the moment. I've experienced something recently where someone was trying to be the funny guy in the Dude, movie theater, the and no one gave him the time of day. No one laughed at him. I'm so happy not no one laughed and gave that person gratification. Don't be that person. But so now we fast forward to it's Avengers Endgame. I have been waiting. What the first the first the Iron Man came out in 2008. Yes, this came out in what 2018. Dude, so a decade. One really quick important detail to start it is we weren't in the United States. Yep. So we were trying to see it, and we finally got tickets, but we weren't even sure if we were going to be watching it in English. So mm-hmm. we're still nervous. We finally sit down. The credit, there's trailers in not English, and then we finally realize, all right, we're safe. Yeah. So and we're, we're relieved. working as hard as we can to see this film. We're all we're all big MCU fans, mm-hmm. and the most important moment, and and probably the whole franchise is um, spoilers. By the way, if you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> uh, Iron Man sacrifices himself to save the universe, and he snaps his fingers. And then he passes away in this incredibly heartbreaking moment. And a man in front of me made a fart noise with his mouth. Yes, he did. And I, it's as if the man from the Spider-Man movie has been following me around, <laughs> trying to ruin these moments for me. Boo, boo those Dude. types of people. It, like, yeah. first of all, you're not a comedian. You're not funny. You, you, you will get nothing in your life and you deserve less. Yeah. It's not you're the, a terrible person. Absolutely terrible person. It's not the right context. Be funny with your friends in areas where you're trying to crack jokes. This is a great environment for that. Yeah, we yeah. can crack jokes all we want. But movie theaters, dude, I get uncomfortable. If I have a friend, and I don't care how close we are, if we're sitting next to each other and if we start, if there's like talking too loud, I will, I will, I don't like to shush. Yeah. But I'll be like, you'll <laughs> shush? I don't know if I'll shush, but I'll, I'll do the hand motion down, like, come on, keep it down. Like, every, I get embarrassed. Yeah. And then I'm like, also, I want to watch the movie. Yeah, I'm, yeah. The, I'm the guy that will, I'll like turn around and I'll give him the dad Oh yeah, stare, the over the so. shoulder look. Wow. You got to give him a nice, firm dad stare. Yeah. I don't do any of that, man. I just, <laughs> I just take it like a little bit. <laughs> I can't. I do. I'm so afraid of confrontation, like stranger confrontation. Yeah. I just can't handle any of it. Yeah. That. I did end up watching the Lego Batman movie later, and it was like being assaulted with sound effects. Yeah. It yeah. was like, it. I've never like the, the. It was funny. It was really good. But like, I've never gotten. I've never enjoyed something that gave me a migraine. I was like, this is so much. Dude, yeah. I, I I think I tried to watch it on. We had we had a flight overseas, so I had time to kill. So we were oh, like, that's well, the let's... perfect airplane movie. But mm-hmm. like, I, you know what's funny is I didn't enjoy it enough to keep watching it. And I th- uh, I've also realized that there's never been a movie that I watched for the first time on a flight that I enjoyed. Really? I think the context is off for me. The screen yeah. is small. I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> and I'm just like, in the worst possible situation, the sound. Wildly uncomfortable. If you're doing their headphones, they're, they're not hearing it well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's just like this awful mixture of terrible. I agree. And it's also like, oh, brand new movie release. And it's like something that's that's been like almost on DVD for like yeah. two years. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's, it's crazy to me that these... They spent millions upon millions of dollars to make these box office movies, all of this time filming it, years and years filming it, and you're watching it in the worst possible yeah. condition. I can't think like, of a worse way to watch a movie. If you were next to the director, he'd be like, dude, I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's not meant to be like dude, it's this. like the equivalent of like if we wrote a song and we wanted everyone to experience it for the first time and they pull out like their their like iPhone 4S. You know, I cannot like stress 90% this enough. Of all music. I know. Yeah. I cannot stress this enough. I know it's convenient. I know it's easy. It's right there. If you're a fan of music at all, when you listen to something for the first time, please, in a car or with headphones, speakers. Get- not your iPhone speakers or your phone speakers. It's still you're gonna miss so much. And they're like, this song fucking sucks. Like, you suck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Get speakers, idiot. <laughs> Drives me nuts. There's producers where they'll like give me a demo, and if I'm like with them, they'll be like, you, you're not allowed to listen to it first on an iPhone speakers. Like yeah. it, they'll literally say it so that you can get the experience because it can make or break the experience. It, it really, really can. can. It really can. I mean, yeah, but you know, it's just music. Who cares, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think it is very important that people do listen to it properly, because, especially with like. Uh, even like some pop music, like uh, there's a lot of shit happening in the background. I, I remember that the Billy Il- Billy Il- Billy Billy Il- Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. Uh, I'm Billy Eilish. God, I knew it right when I slipped. I was like, <laughs> "You're like, damn it, here we go." Better to say something before somebody else does. Uh, Billy Eilish. Yes, uh, mm-hmm. has that 
uh, ba- I think it's bad guy. It has like the ticket 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 do you understand? Yeah. Speaking of detail, that's kind of where we are right now with a lot of the songs right now. Yeah. And speaking of yeah. Sonics and listening to stuff on headphones, make sure to listen to Set It Off, the final chapter with headphones or speakers when it is streaming. And <laughs> and it is, it is called the final chapter. Yeah. So. so who knows what that means? Yeah, yeah um, it's, a, it's, it's a really exciting time to be yeah. in Set It Off. It yeah. really is. Like th- Things are picking back up in, in, for like us now. Not just as yeah. individuals and as people about to try and have fun. But as as set it off, yeah, yeah, things are brewing. We're planning a lot of things, and it's just we can say about the new stuff. What if we play them one second of a demo, a a literal second? Oh, and then every week we'll add to that (laughs) second. I kind of love that. That would take three hundred twenty weeks. That's like five (laughs) years, right? Like Like, we'll have six albums since then. Yeah, and it's still the same song, and it's like been out. We're still like, can you guess? <laughs> it's oh literally my God. just keep. Are you really gonna do it? Oh it what's so funny to me is you're gonna play that from your phone. We yeah. just yeah. talked yeah. about this. This is the way you shouldn't be listening to it. Okay, one second. Oh. This is a lot more than a second. That's it. That's so many seconds. That's just enough to get you know a little oh. bit. Dude, I remember when the band first started, you were so cautious of somebody not hearing perfect recording. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was so convinced that if anyone heard anything, because that, that's not finished, what I was just playing. I it's know. not going to go through revisions and, and revisions. And it's on the phone going through a microphone <laughs> being recorded. After I just got done complaining. And they're going to be listening to this yeah. through their speaker. <laughs> so. It could be worse. It's, it's, like, it's like when you get something and you make a copy of a copy of a copy yeah, yeah. of a copy. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, hey, well, it's uh, now you know it's terrible. Uh <laughs> No, I, I think that one's going to be really sick. We've been like taking all these songs right now in the process of, we have the core of the songs, now we're fine-tuning the little nuances here and there and, and just finalizing and making them perfect, and I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be dope to finally be able to show. I wish we could show all the songs just because it would show how much work has been put in, mm-hmm. but it's just it's going to be great when they can finally hear some of them. Yeah, you have I, been writing for... Two years. Well, has it yeah. been two now? I think it's been two years. I know it's been at least a year and a half. All I know is that I was looking at the, at the Dropbox today, and there's so many songs that w- we've written that weren't fully recorded. Fully recorded songs in the uh, like of like the list of stuff is 33. Wow, right now. That's, That's crazy. so many. Narrowing this down is going to be so hard. I know because each one's your baby. It's the baby. <laughs> I can't cut my baby. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously... I don't know why I'm doing that. (laughs) My baby! (laughs) Obviously, when when we put out Midnight, and even after Midnight, we had no idea what 2020 was going to bring. Yeah. So, like, being able to do the final chapter and ending this era on the right note, I felt was really important. I think we've done a good job of that. Because before, it would have just been kind of gone into the ether. And we're really excited about it, but I think this next chapter... I think we were talking about, like, the goal is to kind of be... As much of ourselves as we can be. Absolutely, I'm really, yeah. really excited. It's kind of been like a process, like finding that. And so. I think like we've always been trying to find our sound, and uh, and that always changes with who we are as people. But we've also just tried to find the the comfort in being as much of ourselves as possible. Because there's all these other people that say, "Well, you got to be careful. You got to hide this, and don't be like this, and you know, don't make yourself too accessible." And and I think this quarantine has kind of allowed us to connect with everybody whether it's through streaming or through you guys listening to this podcast and getting to just hear how it what's like to just hang out with us on the bandwagon or the bus or the van or wherever we are this is just who we are and how, how we how we love to to chat and, and crack jokes and i think it's just been really nice to feel at home and not so worried all the time it's it's i felt really comfortable yeah yeah, yeah. i think it's gonna be dope i really I do think- too Next album is going to be awesome. Awesome. I also, it's going to feel so wild because we're like going to basically start touring and all yes. that shit again too. So it's going to be Let's like, go. it's going to be like literally we hit pause and then we're like new record. Here we go. I also want to take a moment. If, if anyone out in, in the UK or Europe is listening to this and if you have been holding on to your ticket since that tour got announced, we think we figured out the day they went on sale October 29, 2019. And then I had to get vocal surgery. 
Yeah. And then we had to push it back. And then COVID happened. Yeah. And we had to push it back. And then we're like, wait, we think we know when it's going to reopen. And our, our team, it's it's okay. A lot of, it happened to a lot of people. It was wrong. Push back again. And there's so many of you that still have your tickets and you're the best person on this planet. Thank you for just having faith in us and being patient and amazing. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. Yeah. I'm, I don't know if I've already done this before, but I'm just very grateful. I think we broke a record. I want. I don't, know, I don't know if we can get in the Guinness book for yeah. this. For the but most post- a, postponed yeah. tour. <laughs> like if someone bought a ticket, like the longest they've had to wait to then go to that event. Yeah. How man. many? It's been... God. If you can, if anyone can look that up and find out the longest someone's had to wait, please put it in the comments. Yeah, I would like, like to know somebody, if we're in contention. Probably like somebody buying a ticket to a funeral, though. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Ahead of time? Yeah. <laughs> Putting in stock on somebody's death? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll take sp- uh, I'll take row nine, section B. <laughs> I want to see that guy yeah, twenty five when he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not now, though. Yeah. yeah. Not doing what he does. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm seeing this like photo. We always have YouTube pulled up whenever doing this podcast because we're like, what if we want to watch a video? And there's like this Marvel thing. And I'm so excited because I'm going to Disney on the 14th of June, the day before they're like, open the floodgates, full capacity. So I, I'm doing the Mar- Avengers Campus. I'm yeah. finally going. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm so jealous. I want to see it so I badly. cannot wait. Like, I, I realized something because like – Seeing like the, um, the, what's the ride they have? It's Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. It's like riding that ride, I was, I felt like an actual little kid. Wow. Experiencing just the thrill of your favorite like Disney movie. Like I've been in the Harry Potter, uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and I've been to like um, Galaxy's Edge, which is a Star Wars thing. And I've appreciated those franchises greatly. I really am a fan. But I realized how much of a mega fan I am now of like Marvel and how it makes me feel. So, I'm actually good. I I've, I now have a, th- a favorite theme park in the area, and I think it's like Disney California Adventure because it's going to allow me to live in this world that I've wanted to see. So I just wanted to say that I'm really excited. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I I love theme parks, and and I definitely love Disney too. And Marvel is, although it's not my favorite franchise, it yeah. is a dope franchise. Yeah, like, there's so much opportunity with characters and what they can do, and I know way too much about it already. But the the stunt stuntatronics or stuntronics, like the um, Spider Man robot that's going to yeah, be flying overhead. Exactly. There's going to be a uh, a animatronic that gets loaded into like a um, a catapult and shot across the whole, the theme park area. So it's going over Guest's head. That's so insane. and and then what? Basically, what's going to happen is Spider Man is going to shoot over your head, right? And then, uh, and then you're gonna hear him like land or whatever. And then he's gonna come through a door, and then it's a character meet and greet. Wow! What in the hell? I know it's like they couldn't have nailed it better. That's the best thing I've ever heard of. Yeah. So kids little, were gonna little, be like, this little is kids real. are gonna be like, that's fucking Spider Man. Yeah, literally, he's Spider-Man. actually real. Yeah. There is one concern. It's a full robot, right? Like no. a heavy yeah. robot. Yeah, I, watching I, over heads. I know you're concerned, but yeah, like, no, I'm not afraid of it. But do you, do you think one thing could go wrong and someone just gets leveled and yeah, crushed like, by like a robot? Yeah, like they like birds are going to be flying around, right? Yeah, like, no, uh, it's a I, bird. I I agree that there probably is something that could happen, but I think Disney has checked every box. You, uh, possible. yeah, I'll yeah. bet you you're right. I think they've flipped over every little stony. They've like thrown like model birds in its way to <laughs> yeah, make sure yeah, it can yeah, take yeah. it out and keep going. They made bird <laughs> animatronics, and they were like. <laughs> When I was a when I was a kid, my dad uh, would tell me that the birds at Disney were were robots, and that they were used they to are. spy and make sure you weren't doing anything bad. Damn. Which is such a great way to that keep me in smart. line. Yeah. yeah, I thought the birds were robots. So our Mickey's gonna see you, and he's gonna be like, "That kid sucks." Yeah. <laughs> I, so I I'm not gonna have kids because gross. But yeah. if I did, if I did, I would tell them that it's illegal to cry at Disney yeah. and that you get kicked out of the park if you do because yeah. it's the happiest place on earth. It is. You're not allowed to cry. And there's always kids crying. Yeah. yeah. Don't cry. If Stop you, crying. Yeah. You're here. Why are you crying? You're at the happiest place on earth. <laughs> well, legitimately. Yeah. Just so. be happy. And I'll do it. I'll, I'll be like, well, the cops are coming. We have to get out of here. And then I will leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Yeah, oh not going to deal with a crying kid. No. I, I will never have kids either, I feel like, at this point. My mom's going to be devastated. Dude. Is she, she listen? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. My, dude, oh, you, I am totally having kids. Dude, my mom is an avid listener, I bet. I don't know. You're going to get a phone call after I this episode. I like, <laughs> I, like, I like how I was so confident, too. I was like, my mom is an 
avid listener, I bet. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> she listens to this podcast all the time, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to live vicariously through through you. Yeah. Oh, and so that sure. way we can come over and be like, oh, it's a kid, and then leave before it poops. Yeah, there you yeah. go. You get to be the fun uncles. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like I have a kid on the way. I want to be clear. I don't have a kid on oh, the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You definitely don't have a no, kid. No, but, but I know it, that that's something I want in my future. If yeah. anybody was going to have a kid at this table. Yeah. You're going to be such a good dad. Yeah. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm I think over you here will, blushing. Oh, I think you will be a good dad. I think you'll definitely teach him how to how to do the right things, you know? like uh, Look at my friends. Look at my friends being my friends. You also love like camaraderie. Like, you I love, do, like, a you, lot. Like you would, you would right now, even though it's not Christmas, you would put a gingerbread house together. <laughs> absolutely. If you ask me to, I do oh, it right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. I think What's that. What's joy? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. The first day your kid asks you if he wants, if you want, if you want to have a catch. No! Oh, it's, I know. Monumental that, day. That yeah. it alone. You're going to be great. If I, you know what I'm going to do? I literally, I'm not joking. If like, when I know that I'm going to be a dad. I am going to start taking myself to a batting cage to throw a ball to get my throw back uh, to make sure I'm prepared. Yeah. I will, oh, I will over prepare. Yeah. You're yeah. going to be so fucking you're annoying. Gonna, you're going to toast that kid. Yeah. yeah. Just fastball. <laughs> He's yeah. five get years better. old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if you went that route as a dad? <laughs> Just totally yeah. over the top. Everybody thought you were going to be the best dad in the world and you're like a evil coach dad <laughs> yeah. you're like what, what what have you done today son well I, I worked really hard not enough yeah it's never enough you, you shoot your <laughs> thousand layups what grade did you get a minus <laughs> get out of my face <laughs> <laughs> can't oh, wait oh, i can't man. wait it's what gonna be a blast <laughs> yeah. yeah i think it, i think it'll be really cool to see you as a dad and i will never Ever. Like, never ever. What kind yeah, of dad? Totally do you off think the table. Oh, what kind of dad? Um, uh, probably a uh, a dirt bag one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think if I if I was like you know uh, my girlfriend got pregnant and I had to get married, we were just, we were really gonna do it. Yeah. I think I would be a dad that tried really really hard to like. Uh, not get annoyed because mm. I feel like that would like we have cats and sometimes I look at them and I'm like I wonder is there is there returns? Like, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I feel like I have to say I'm kidding because yeah. somebody's gonna be maybe like, the cats. Oh, everyone's been there, dude. Loki's a fucking asshole. I know. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's no, he's here. He's gonna hear me. He's gonna learn. That's he's how I'm gonna do my parenting. <laughs> You're never enough, Loki. <laughs> no, he's just a handful, man. Like yeah. everyone's been there. You're never enough. <laughs> that's so good. No, I but I get you. I feel like that's I, it's so fun and funny to me to watch like new parents, yeah, and just how they deal with just the total annoyance. Yeah, I just don't the, think I would be able to like. Also, like if my kid ever talked back to me, I feel like it would just be like like some of the shit that I did to my parents, and I was punished, you know, properly. Like yeah. sent to my room, like no dinner or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. Like no lights, no video games. In the shed. Yeah, I had to I had to sleep outside. <laughs> In the shed, like, lock the shed. No AC. I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed to wear clothes. Yeah. Like uh, turn on the furnace in the shed. <laughs> Normal stuff. Yeah, yeah, as you know. Super normal stuff, you know? Uh, but yeah, I, I just, oh, man. Yeah. I couldn't I, do it. I yeah. think that if, if I was in a similar position, if it was like, oh, I didn't know we were, I guess we're having a kid, I would, I would uh, call dibs on being a uh, good cop immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm like, listen, I just want you to know, this is going to be an ask your mother type situation. <laughs> all right? I'm going to be cool and fun, and I'm going to yeah. take him to Disneyland, and you get to yell at him for doing their homework. That's the yeah. But if you like, cry at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, uh, I don't like loud noises when there aren't supposed to be loud noises. Oh, no, I'm and with so you. so if my kid is crying, I'm going to be... Pr- I'm going to take it as a personal offense. I feel like yeah. because we've been around each other for so long, we share so many of the same pet peeves. Yeah. Have we talked about... Uh, do do you guys have the same bathroom pet peeves as me? What are your bathroom pet peeves? If I find a speck of pee on that toilet seat and there's someone coming out of that stall, mm-hmm. it'll take everything within me not to... I don't want to clean your pee, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That pisses me off. I don't know how I got here. Talking about pet peeves, that's yeah. what it was. It's, yeah. it's, it's, here's a pro tip, by the way, if anyone's looking for a cool and fun bathroom hack. So if you're peeing standing up, there is a lid that you mm-hmm. can then lift the seat. What? So that, yeah. So you, you lift? Can, you can just pee anywhere in the bowl. Can and you then, imagine? Then what do you do? Can you and imagine? Then if you want, if you're, if let's say you're with someone who if then you're polite. sits down, you can then put the seat down. Otherwise, they'll fall in. Voila! Yeah. Now you're not an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Easy as that. Yeah. I, uh, can you imagine though, somebody actually being like, "What?" 
<laughs> you can lift the Wait, seat. That's not permanent. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That also, if someone goes in the bathroom at like a public place and there's one stall and they take their sweet time, mm, I'll knock on the in. door. Yeah. I'm knocking. Um, yeah. knock. I'll knock. One time I did that in Seriously. Poland and almost got my ass kicked. You did what? Knocked on the door. And someone got mad at you? Yeah, yeah. It was at a, it was at a bar, yeah. Uh, in in Poland, uh, when we were on tour, and I knocked on the door to... And, the, you know, it's like at a, it's at a bar. There's loud music. So I knocked on the door because it's been a long time. Yeah. And didn't hear anything. So I waited a couple more minutes, and then I knocked again. And this guy, like, kicked open the door, and he was uh, speaking a different language. And I don't remember how you say it in Poland, but I was like, I'm sorry, I... I don't I, I didn't mean to like oh, no. I, I only speak I English. I remember this. I was like, "Do you speak English?" And he was like, "Why should I speak? You're in my country." And I was like, "Fair enough." But <laughs> <laughs> great argument. Yeah. But I was hey, at like, least you weren't like, "Hey, get on my level." Yeah. yeah. But oh, I was man. like, I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't. And he kept getting like in my face, being like, "I can speak English, fine, but you should be able to speak my language if you're in my area of the bar." And I'm like, "Okay, I'm very, very sorry. I'm very sorry." And he kept like getting in my face, and I I didn't know what to do because I think you guys had left at this time mm-hmm. so i made eye contact with the bartender who was watching this yeah. whole thing happen and i just walked behind the bar <laughs> i just walked you behi- created a yeah. force field i just walked behind the bar and stood next to yeah. the bartender <laughs> like i fucking worked yeah. there and the guy just kept saying shit to me but from the from the bar Did he eventually distance. just walk away uh basically i then told that guy i was like hey uh i probably need to leave yeah <laughs> this guy's gonna uh, i've upset him greatly and by the way i have to pee this whole time so. <laughs> still haven't peed so uh i asked that guy to call me an uber and i or, or a taxi or whatever and, and he I, did yeah and took a taxi back shout to out saying. Shout and out then to that guy. somebody uh on our team on that tour locked themselves in the goddamn oh, room in the room it was a room with a lot with a there was a lock on either side of the door yeah and we couldn't get them awake and eventually we knew they woke up because we heard rustling and then glass breaking everywhere yeah. oh that was ridiculous yeah uh they were like blackout drunk yeah right? yeah it was Dude, too it was much a fucking nightmare <laughs> Jesus. My God, because that's scary. Because all you wanted to do was pee, and the yeah. dude was like, "What? I have to finish peeing? Like yeah. that's just it's. I, I'm not gonna like you know pound the door or anything like that, but just be courteous. Yeah, I just yeah. hate when people aren't looking out for other people. It doesn't take that long to use the bathroom. Yeah, no. don't poop at the bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't do. People have to use the bathroom. There's yeah, a, there's a whole Santino bit about this. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Don't poop at the bar. <laughs> you shouldn't. Um, I have a big pet peeve about uh, uh, just like noise pollution in general, yeah. but it bothers me so much when people will, if you're in like, especially like public transit, yeah. if people will listen to music with no headphones oh, yeah. as loud as they can, no one wants to listen to it. No one thinks you're cooler. If you're playing your own music, I will intentionally do everything I can to make sure your career goes nowhere. <laughs> I will make it my personal mission. Get a pair of headphones. By yeah. the way, you can buy them literally Dude, anywhere. Some people so. will literally get the biggest Bluetooth speaker they can find to wear as a necklace yeah. or to hold like with two Dude. hands like a bear. Yeah, and then and then go on a fucking nature. Dude, I was walk. about to say, I drove, I drove yeah. all the way out to Malibu, which is pretty far. Yeah. And then I hike I hiked. All the way out, like over a mile. Trying to escape this. Yeah, to find this beautiful waterfall because I'm stuck in the city oh, and I want hike. some peace and quiet. It's a gorgeous hike. Me yeah. and Lindsay are walking. We're having a blast. And all of a sudden I hear, Back in black! <laughs> <laughs> I like I I I wanted to figure out a way to like yeah it's so, like they queued it up to the most depressive uh, part of the like, song like I've never in my, everything in my mind was being like, <laughs> I was like I want you to suffer yeah. I want you to suffer oh the way I have suffered yeah. like, that also like even oh, boomboxes so or whatever like even if someone is talking too loud on a nature hike like it's so I remember there's this one I I forgot where it is but it's uh I think it might be in Malibu too but you start in like kind of like a big like prairie looking thing and you lead down into like a valley and you do like switchbacks but there's when you get to the prairie there's another hike that you can take up to a mountain and this lady's walking up that mountain with her with her uh friend yeah and me and my girlfriend are walking through the prairie to go to the bottom part so we have to walk by each other like parallel for a little bit but we're like a hundred yards like a football field away and i can hear this lady being like yeah and then i got groceries but uh, the eggs were melted janice janice i could i couldn't even get i couldn't even get open the door i couldn't even get open the door why did they go on the hike i know to make the phone call i know and i'm like no no there was a person with them oh they're talking to the person with them and i'm like dude 
they're like three feet away. Why are you screaming? They man? need to tell. I know. They and need like, to let her know, like, hey, lower the voice. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like if I was the one that was like, hey, lady, you're screaming, she'd be like, how dare you? <laughs> yeah. And then you're the asshole somehow. But, dude, like, it, it's so funny. On, on the um, trail that I usually go on, they spray painted on the floor. Usually that would be like, whoa. But they spray painted, wear headphones. Yeah. As a reminder. And then I, I witnessed somebody flick off that sign. And I was like, oh. Do you think the person, do you think it was like park rangers or just a really annoyed person? It looked like an official person? stencil. Yeah. Oh, okay, like, I okay. think it was actually like they're trying to preserve the noise pollution. I, I just think everything. it takes it takes so little effort to be a decent human being. Yeah. And people yeah. see that and they go, no, me though. Yeah. I, I, I honestly think a lot of it too is like they literally don't know better. Like, I yeah. feel like they don't, They've seen somebody else do it, and they're like, oh, dude, that's dope. Like, yeah. That's well, how you're supposed to do it. You know what's funny? Did I ever tell you guys about the story that um, the first time I ever got embarrassed singing? Um, so I don't know if any, like, maybe this could be it, too. But I used to think when I had my headphones on, this is when I was literally, like, right. six years old. Yeah. If I had my headphones on, blast music, and I'm singing, no one else can hear me. Because you, you barely hear you. That's my dog, Mateo, barking in the background. It's time for Mateo Hour. Mateo! Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Uh, <laughs> Um, but I was listening to, I swear to you, it was the Lion King soundtrack. And I was singing, I Just Can't Wait to Be King. Oh, nice. And I was at this like after school program. And my sister happened to be there. And I was listening to, and I had it blasting. And all I remember is that I turned around and everyone's staring at me. And then my sister, of course, we're siblings, started laughing her ass off. And I was like, oh my God, I just realized that. So I wonder if people don't realize you know, like sometimes it's hard to realize the boundary of your noise. Like if your windows are down in your car and you're listening to music, you don't realize that a person across the street is hearing you. Do you think it's that? Maybe I think, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt granted, in a little bit of a way. I, I, so I just had, I recently had a bad experience and it has made me be like, human beings are selfish and bad. No. So uh, I have, I'd, I'd been saving up for, I don't know, oh, this. Oh, like shit. half a decade to try and buy a car. I finally did it. Mm -hmm. I've had it for like less than a month. You earned it. I, I worked so hard. And right, and I'm driving home and uh, I get up to this, what's about to be a red light. And the guy in the lane to the right of me decides, I'm gonna run that light. But he's also going to try and merge into my lane at the same time. So he speeds up, tries to swerve in front of me like it's Fast and the Furious, but unfortunately he's not Vin Diesel. So he <laughs> sideswipes me. And then just drives off, doesn't even go, you know what? I was being stupid and arrogant and I should own up to my mistakes. No, drove off like a coward. Dude. So, uh, I, I think, didn't know you so, you witnessed it. Oh yeah. No, I was driving and then tried to be like, tried to get up to catch up to him and just drove off. Oh my God. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm of the mindset where I'm like. People know what they're doing, and yeah. they're being selfish and shitty. But I'm also yeah. like, just yeah. had a bad experience. Dude, I know it's what you mean. fresh off the burn. Oh, yeah. yeah. But if you're out there, I hate you, and I hate you for. <laughs> he's like, he's there with a the machete going. Yeah. Ah! And nothing you ever do will ever, ever make it okay. <laughs> do you guys want to do an ad for the June Fourth um, merch release? Oh yeah. Yes. This June 4th. June 4th. You can expect some cool merch. Merch. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, where can you get it? You can get a set it off band.com slash merch. Oh my God. We, I, I thought we changed our website for a second. Oh my God. Yeah. I feel like a fool. And uh. also, uh, if you haven't <laughs> You're already so frustrated, it'll be, it'll be, so this, this is going to air on Tuesday. So if you haven't already pre-saved and pre-ordered midnight, the final chapter, <laughs> please do so right now. I'll give you a moment to do that. Do it. Go ahead. Go ahead and pause the podcast. And it is setitoffband.com. That's where you can get it. You know what? I think this has been a solid episode. And I think it's yeah. time to wrap it up. Oh, yeah. So make sure to check out, stream, pre-save, download, show your friends, show them what's up. With Set It Off, Midnight, the final chapter. Go to setitoffband.com to pick up the exclusive merch. We are wearing it. We're really excited about it. It's super soft. Where well, you want to sing us out, Zach? Oh, yeah. Digga, 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 digga. And thank you so much for hanging out with us, everybody. My name is Cody. Max. Zach. And we have been the Talk It's Off Podcast. I did off again. Off. <laughs>